Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is the basic terminology video where we're talking about LFOs. You might notice that this is the exact same setup I was using when I was discussing what an actual, just an O is, rather, an oscillator. And that's because, like I guess described in the video, it's more or less the same thing. But let's talk about focus on really what an LFO is and what it's used for in, you know, production. So, an LFO stands for a Low Frequency Oscillator. A low frequency oscillator is described as such because it is an oscillator that's played so slow that you're not detecting it as an individual pitch, or rather, you're not detecting it as a solid tone, but rather you're detecting it as individual, like, motion. And that could be a lot of things in a lot of, in a lot of different places. So, where you would use an LFO is that you would use it as a control source, a regular control source, rather, which is to say, like, a continuous control source, uh, for a parameter. I'm using Citrus, and one of the things that you can do is that you can you can modulate the frequency of something like the pitch so if i were to modulate the frequency let's say by this guy this is being controlled by this extremely slow oscillator and now when i run it through the oscilloscope you can see what the measurement of of its motion is now instead of like right now this motion is being put through your speaker count but it's not like it's not happening. It's not going to actually, you know, you can't, you can't really hear it as anything. But if I attach the information that this motion generates towards the pitch of that other guy, we get motion. Now, FM is one thing, but there are also other plugins that utilize uh, LFOs a lot. And like, for example, Massive, you might have Massive, and you might see LFO attached to something. Uh, I forgot that it's tiny. Okay, well, I was going to use Massive, but I'm going to use something that you can actually see. So, in Harmer, let's put you in with the thing. So, let's say I have a filter. And let's say I want to automate that. I want, I want it to move around rhythmically and in the same speed, you know, forever. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to just use an LFO. And most things will have an LFO option in them one way or another. Now you might notice that there was a, like a speed limit there, and that's not to say that every LFO has to has to not be audio rate. Some LFOs are very fast, and they can in fact just be as fast as audio rate. And in fact, in the analog world, LFOs and oscillators are really just the same thing because it's all the same kind of signal. It's all just a signal that gets output, and it just happens to be how it's interpreted that determines whether or not it's a control source or an audio source. Audio source is where it goes to an amplifier to get put out into your speakers, and you can hear it because it's moving the membrane of your speaker crown, or it's a control source when it gets put into another parameter that can accept that kind of signal, which is something that's really only happening, that only happens in the, in the analog world. And then when that happens, you're, that essentially is de that detects that that signal as being okay. Now I'm going to move around at however fast that is. And because it's analog, it can be as however fast you want. It can be however however fast that you want. A bit more difficult to handle in um, you know digital things. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And I don't really need to care about that. Just suffice to say that not all LFOs are created equally in this matter. Um, in fact, FM synthesis is an entire kind of synthesis that's just that's just just because of what you can do when you modulate something's pitch really, really fast and control and layer and do different things and chain all kinds of stuff, all from just the idea that you're, you're controlling the parameter of a pitch of one oscillator by the speed of the other as a control source and not as audio output. That, however, is still called FM and not an LFO because it is audio rate, or it can be audio rate anyway. But LFOs are mostly used for that for the purpose of control. And most of the time, LFOs will have either the same basic kind of shape controls that you might have on a waveform. Yeah, so that's it for LFOs. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and also suggest to be terms you might want to know about. And as usual, have a nice day.